Okay, so when did you first meet Peter? You remember the year? I would say it was in the late 60s. So you've seen his, you basically have seen his art go through different phases yeah. over the years. Yeah. The painting behind me, I think, is an extraordinary painting. I bought it because I loved it. I have two or three small things at home, plus this. If you put it all in perspective, I think he's, he, he would rate pretty high on the hit parade. What is it about his work that is so special as an artist? Well, it expresses emotion, and uh, it's not flat. And, and like this thing, you can look at it for, I look at it every day here. And it moves me, it makes me feel good, it makes me, so it's not a dried out thing. You know, it's a, it's got life in it. You know, there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of movement. You feel all that's moving, right? Those things are just, it's like, um, it's like the, when you put one of those Alka-Seltzer things in a glass and it just bubbles and froths. So it's, it's like moving. He captures the light. It's hard to do. It's hard to capture light on a, on a canvas, you know, but he does. He consistently does that. You know, if you read uh, Cezanne's life story, Mont Saint-Victoire, the paintings he did, he spent a whole lifetime trying to capture the light on Mount saint Victoire. Says that. So that's what a painter does. You know, you capture, and, and Peter has done that. He's done that. I think when he stays with nature, with light, with reflection, with, and tries to capture those things like Cezanne did, that's when he's the strongest. Like the wet paintings, the paintings that look like a rainy night in black and white, those were drop dead gorgeous, you know. Peter has been a consistent, uh, consistently high level for me. There are people that truly, truly love his work. He's much better than he thinks he is, you know. <laughs>